Hello everyone, welcome to another card tutorial. This week's card features an adorable background made possible by my friend Peter from Peter's Treasury. The link to Peter's blog, YouTube and Instagram can be found in the description for this video. Peter designs SVGs and has sent me this one so that I could play around with it and see what I came up with. Here is the stamp set that I'll be using. It is the Peekaboo Pals by Avery L. And it's like Peter read my mind from the other side of the planet because I also got these balloon alphabet dies by Honey Bee Stamps the same week that I got the SVG for these balloons. So just like all SVGs, I cut them out on my Cricut and I'm going to use them as a stencil. And here they are, all cut out. I used some low-tack washi tape on the back of them to hold them into place while I did my ink blending. For all of these balloons, I used two colours on each of them, a light colour and a slightly darker colour so that the centre was a bit brighter in hopes to give it a bit of a rounded 3D effect. And there is my balloon background. It was so easy to make and I love the layered effect of these colours. It was the first time I had used a stencil like this and I kind of made a little bit of a mess and got some inky marks on my background. So to cover that up I just used some of my gold watercolour pigments to make a bit of a splatter all over the background and that hid them pretty well. On to my colouring. For these animals I kept it simple, just sticking to my skin tone Copic set and two grey markers. I've shown in many videos how I do my colouring. I keep it super simple and today I'll only show how I did two of these characters because the other two were pretty much exactly the same. Once my little critters were coloured in, I used my new alphabet dies to cut out the letters for the word happy and I used my candied apple ink to make them all red. This was so that they would match the colour scheme of my card but I really can't wait to use these dies to cut out pattern paper and glitter cardstock and oh my gosh there's just so many things I'm excited to use them for. I used a lawn fawn banner die to cut out some white cardstock and then I put some gold flecks on that too so that it would match my background. I glued my letters for the word birthday on top of that and then added some foam dots to the back. The reason I used this banner was because these little creatures needed something to sit behind and if they sat straight behind the letters then you'd see that they had no bodies <laughs> or that pieces of their body were missing. This way it all looked really neat. Using some PVA glue I stuck them behind the banner. They are just so cute, I think the bunny will always be my favourite from this set.
Once my little critters were glued down, it was then time to just finish off the front of my card. I used foam dots for the balloons, some glue for the balloon strings, and then a mix of both for their little hands, depending on whether they were holding a balloon string or holding onto the birthday sign. As a very small and final touch to add some dimension, I used my Jelly Roll white pen to add some little details to these balloons. With my card front complete, it was just a matter of adding some double sided tape to the back and adhering it to my card base. And there we have it. How cute is this card? It was quick and easy and I love that background. Thank you so much Peter for sending me this SVG. I think it made an amazing background. I really can't wait to use it again. Make sure you head over to Peter's blog if you want more info on this SVG and make sure you like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more of my work. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!